everyone. This is WCNT-TV, Wesley Chapel, New Tampa Television. I'm Gary Nager. And I'm Susanna Martinez. And as always, Gary and I are coming to you from the Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel studio. Let's update our viewers about some of the projects we've mentioned before on WCNT-TV. Definitely. Let's start with what most of our viewers seem to care about the most, the new restaurant set to open in New Tampa and Wesley Chapel. The crowds have been as big as expected at the new BJ's Restaurant and Brew House in front of the Tampa Premium Outlet Mall since the restaurant opened less than two weeks ago. So now people are waiting for the opening of Longhorn Steakhouse next to BJ's. We just got word here that Longhorn is about two weeks from opening, as the chain steakhouse is hiring as we speak and plans to open to the public on or around Monday, November 14th. But Gary, we've also been told that those who have been waiting for the opening of Irish 31 on an out parcel of the shops at Wygrass Mall since the Neighborhood News first announced it was coming about a year ago will have to wait a little longer. Very true, Susanna. Shops at Wiregrass GM Greg Lenners told me during the recent Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Pasco, which was held at the mall, that Irish 31 likely won't open until after the first of the year. We're also attending the opening of the new Vuelos Mexican Grill on October 25th. As we told you in a previous episode, Vuelos also is a Mexican place owned by Tom Reynolds, the senior tea of the former senior teas, which closed suddenly at the same location, but will have a whole new concept and menu. And we'll be back with Molly Ann Award's interview with Tom and Patrick Murtha of this week's Chamber Featured Business, Murtha and Murtha Mergers and Acquisitions, right after this from Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel. The birth of your baby is one of the most precious moments of your life. Let the birthday experience team at Florida Hospital help deliver the dream of a lifetime. We personalize your experience with a birth advocate to assist you throughout your journey. After all, your baby has only one real birthday. We'll help make it as unique as your little one's footprint with the birthday experience from Florida Hospital. Connect with our birth advocate team at inspiredbirthday.com. Hi, and welcome back to the show. This is WCNT-TV, and I'm Molly Ann Ward. And with me today, we have Tom and Patrick Murtha of Murtha & Murtha CPA. Welcome to the show, guys. Oh, thank you. Good to be here. So, Tom, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started in the business. Well, my love affair with accounting pretty much started back in college. And I worked in Manhattan for about 12 years in the banking industry and, uh, you know, did learned all about the private accounting and um, got my MBA while I was there. Uh, then we moved down to Florida and I opened my accounting firm, a uh, public accounting firm, and I've been doing public accounting ever since. Years ago, I, I went back and I got my accounting degree as well. Um, and I saw an opportunity here in Wesley Chapel, um, mm -hmm. New Tampa, mm -hmm. to, to uh, I saw the growth and I told my dad, I said, you know, this would be the perfect place for a CPA firm. And kind of pulled him, dragged him back into it. Um, two years ago, <laughs> we started the firm again. We're about to start our third tax season here uh, in Wesley Chapel. Okay. And uh, it's growing very nicely. And, and we've kind of carved ourselves a niche here. And we're really excited to be a part of the community. As a CPA firm, we basically uh, provide the typical CPA services like tax preparation and uh, accounting, monthly, quarterly accounting for businesses. What makes us a little bit different is that you see most of the things on a CPA's desk uh, have to do with the past. So when you sit there in April of 2016, you're looking back at 2015 and a whole year has gone by already. We take a more forward-looking approach. So we've created kind of a program. I call it the CFA, uh, uh, CFO Retainer Program, uh, where basically the idea is a small business owner can actually retain uh, a, a CFO for a, a fee that's a nominal fee in comparison to actually hiring a, a, a true CFO, mm -hmm. you know, like you might see in a middle market or a larger business. We actually provide an annual valuation uh, where we actually help a business owner understand today this is what your business is worth. Um, and rather than looking at it and saying, oh boy, I wish my business was worth more, we are proactive and forward looking and we say, all right, let's say your business is worth a million dollars today, but you want it to be worth five million dollars in five years. We can chart the course and show you and even coach you in some cases uh, the way to getting to where you need to be when, when it's time to retire and sell your business so you can retire where you want it to be. It's interesting because a lot of business owners don't give any thought to that they're going to exit their business. And every business owner will exit the business someday, whether they walk out or get carried out or they come from the closing table with a big fat check. I've really enjoyed having you both on the show. And Susanna and Gary, that's all here. Back to you. Great job yet again, Maliana. Coming up after these words from RPG Printing, Gary will tell you about his three favorite restaurants in Sarasota.
Welcome back to WCNT TV, and this is your neighborhood dining news. My mother Marilyn has lived in Sarasota for almost 20 years, so I've had a great opportunity to sample virtually every restaurant in town. From St. Armand Circle to downtown to Siesta Key, there are lots of great places to eat in the Circus City. Located right on Main Street, the recently revamped and renamed Duval's Fresh Local Seafood not only has some of the best fresh fish you'll find in Sarasota, but also one of the classiest settings in town for a big night out or a drink at the Elegant Bar. From red snapper, grouper, and whatever is brought in fresh each day to a petite filet mignon, plus daily specials, even basics like the Caesar salad and brunch are special at Duval's. I've also spent a lot of time in nearby Siesta Key when visiting my mom, and although both of my favorite restaurants on Siesta are Italian places, Gabbiano's and Flavio's Brick Oven, my top choice is the slightly less expensive Flavio's, which offers perfect brick oven pizzas as well as great pasta and veal dishes. The veal, whether you prefer parmigiana, marsala, or salt in boca, is always tender and delicious, and the orchietta alla baresi, with broccoli and spicy sausage, is my favorite dish. And the bar area is comfortable and friendly. And finally, while Tsunami Japanese Restaurant may not have teppanyaki tables, it does have great fresh sushi and any number of unique dishes, from the filet mignon seared on Lava Rock's appetizer to hibachi steak, chicken, and seafood prepared in owner Sam Ray's kitchen instead of at your table, all are top notch. There's even a big tender bone-in ribeye. And I will offer another Sarasota dining segment with more of my favorites soon. For WCNT-TV, I'm Gary Nager, and Susanna and I will be back with your spooky and exciting local entertainment calendar right after these words from Full Throttle Intermedia. We are Gary and Joyce with Gunter & Gunter Insurance. We provide home, auto, business, and life insurance, and we use FTI for our advertising. Full Throttle Intermedia provides custom advertising strategies that connects Gunter & Gunter with local customers. FTI has been our trusted partner since we began in 2010 and has been right there with us as we help people manage their everyday risks. FTI should be your source for advertising. When you're ready to advertise on TV, radio, or digital, call Full Throttle Intermediate. Welcome back to WCNT TV, and this is your local entertainment calendar. The third Wesley Chapel Jazz Festival was an even bigger hit at its new location at the Avalon Park West community. As an estimated crowd of 5,000 people enjoyed great weather, music, food, and an expanded kid zone. This weekend, expect another big crowd at the 12th annual Wesley Chapel Fall Festival, which returns to the Grove Shopping Center, beginning tonight with the opening of the festival's carnival rides from 5 until 10 p.m. today. The festival, presented for the first time by Simply Events, continues Saturday and Sunday. There will be great arts and crafts, pet adoptions, a pumpkin patch, hay rides, live entertainment, and fun for the whole family. The only thing not on this year's schedule again is the Miss and Mr. Pumpkin Patchet. Another big event taking place tomorrow, 6 p.m. until 9 p.m., is the one-year anniversary party for the Tampa Premium Outlets. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Outlet Mall's grand opening anniversary party will benefit the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation and will feature fun family activities, live music by Mad Dogs and Sacred Fire, and superhero costumes honoring breast cancer survivors and victims are welcome. But please, no masks or weapons. And finally, we hope to see you at the Cineflix Fest Film Festival, which will be held from Halloween through Thursday, November 3rd. Former Dukes of Hazard star John Schneider, who also has had five number one country music hits, already has brought his film festival to Mississippi and Georgia. Schneider says his intent is to provide independent filmmakers with an unprecedented opportunity to show their films to the general public. The hope here is that the first year of this Cineflex Fest will bring crowds to the Grove and Cinebistro. For reservations and information, call Cinebistro at 813-948-5444. For more details about these and other upcoming events, check out our upcoming print editions or visit ntneighborhoodnews.com. And if you'd like to see your business or restaurant featured on an upcoming episode, please call the Neighborhood News at 910-2575. For WCNT-TV, I'm Gary Nager. And I'm Susanna Martinez. See you again in two weeks.